guys turn to Beware the Awakening to go Crystal Barrage featuring the new Terra Green Ninja EX from Toilet Masquerade with a Mirage Barrage attack. For 1 water and 2 colorless, you get to hit 120 damage to any 2 of your opponent's Pokemon. It can also do Shinobi Blade for 1 water, hitting 170 damage, searching your deck for any 1 card and putting it into your hand. So we're playing this card with the new Boomerang Energy, reattaching this card from the discard pile onto your Greninja if you discarded it with the effect of an attack. We also have our Raiden Blastoise, Monkey Dory, and Frostlass to deal with their Menifee or Repska, helping us do the Bench Snipe with our Greninja EX by removing their Bench Guard. To help accelerate our energy, so we're playing 1 Giovanni's Charisma and 1 Marnie's Pride. We've also got our regular supporter cards with a new Tatsugiri and 1 Mew EX for the draw support. 1 Glally from Toilet Masquerade to do a 1 hit knockout after the snipe with damage beat, hitting 20x damage for each damage counter opponent's active Pokemon for only 1 water. We even have 1 copy of the Ogre Ninja EX to do Torrential Slash, hitting 240 damage for 2 water if your opponent's active Pokemon already has any damage counters on them. Finally, we have 1 energy lotto to dig for our boomerang and 1 energy search for monkey dory since we have to attach a darkness energy onto this pokemon in order to play its ability. So that's all for the decklist, now let's go for some gameplay and see how well this deck works. Another game with crystal barrage. Let's go heads with single strike or shifu. Your opponent will go first. Which isn't ideal. Oh no, they're doing a psychic deck. You know what that means? Weakness. Weakness is not great. Very psychic. Ghost. Okay, so Mewtwo. I think we're safe. Um, they can attack with the Zatu for 2x damage though. They may have a Psychic type as well. Whoa, 4 Natus. <laughs> they better have more energies on the next turn. They may get stuck. Um, I feel like we should do the Lotto first. Definitely gonna get an energy. And let's play the nest ball. Oh, we could do the TM. But we don't wanna be playing the TM, do we? This is a bit difficult. I don't know what to do. We've got both Glally and Frostless. I feel like we should just get um monkey. I don't want to get monkey though. Should we get monkey or blastoise? I don't know. Don't look at me. I don't know. Just gonna draw one card here. And pass the turn. Not playing the TM. We maybe should have played it because they could quite easily do an Ayano right here. But we would be spending the energy. Oh my god. Okay, no energy, thank god. Yikes, that was scary. What will we get with the Great Ball? Let's do the Frostlass, because they got the Menifee. Um, we may just draw first. Because, okay, that's fine. We had to discard. Um, it's unfortunate, but we have to do it. So, retreat to discard. And we're gonna search for the darkness energy. Oh, we're hitting for the weakness though. Because we're playing a fighting Terra versus a lightning Terra. That is so confusing. Because the original type is water versus psychic. Um, I think we should just get the darkness straight out wait a minute because we got frost last right so we are damaging our own pokemon we have to play monkey's ability if we don't play monkey's ability we are um taking the recoil from his ability as well yeah we're being a bit too slow sorry 
Zatu is not taking any damage counters though because they haven't evolved it yet. Um, no, okay, they got the supporter, but they got the wrong one. They got a bad supporter card. Oh well. Let's see if we can get the boss here. I don't think so, but still nice to try, I guess. Let's get another snow run. I don't know if we should be getting anything. Um, we got this guy. Oh, we should have done Radiant Blastoise. Wait, wait a minute. They they got a Manafini active though. My bad. Um, we're gonna do the monkey. Try and draw the boss. Charisma. So let's just transfer from the Dory to the Menifee and pass the turn. Because I don't really want to take a cheap win by doing the Shinobi on the Menifee. We're just going to let the damage counter deal with the Water Veil. They may just retreat right here. No cheap wins. No cheap wins. Experience share. Aroma. For another basic. Do they have the energy? No energy. Yikes. They just attached the rescue board for nothing. Unbelievable. We got the other Greninja though. Which is interesting. Um, we can actually spread though. Yo. In any way you like. Oh no. Only to one. Only to a single one. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> one of your Pokemon to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Wait, let me just read that carefully. From one of your Pokemon to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Okay. Uh, let's just evolve the other Greninja. Might as well. Oh, we could actually... Oh, no. We should have searched for the Giovanni. Oh, but they did Ayano, though. So now we can't do the Snipe. We still can't do the Snipe. That's unfortunate. I don't want to take a cheap win by playing the boss. Because we got two prizes remaining. Um, I don't think we really need anything else. To be honest. Uh... Let's just get the switch. Because I honestly just... I have no idea what else to get. We need the boomerang though. Ultra Ball! Oh, more damage counters. More punishment. Punishing both players. So our Mew and Monkey Dory is getting damaged pretty heavily. Um, we should have benched the Blastoise, right? Oh well. We're just gonna move from the Dory onto this bird over there. Oh, we could actually play a boss right now. Oh wait a minute, it's over! I saw how I'm, I'm stupid. I'm a stupid dodo. It's over 150 on two Pokemons though. Wait, 120 in the active because it's a is a psychic type, so we're actually hitting for the resistance. Minus 30. But we still knocked it out. Winning against Mewtwo EX. Yay! Another game with Crystal Barrage. Going second. Let's start with Froakie in the active. 
and we're up against Shen Pao, which is pretty scary. Excalibur. Got Mew and Dory. Got the ability for the snipe on the Bidoof. And I think it's safe to attach to the active. Just gonna do it. I'm just gonna switch to the bench because. I'm a bit insecure of leaving the froggy inactive. This seems a bit... Um, oh, I thought I pressed it. Come on, Mew. Come on, man. Flock. Should we actually play Flock, though? Are we going... S is it our first turn going second? Wait, is that one? Okay, we are going second, my bad. So let's just attack with this guy. Um, two energy retreat. I don't think they're going anywhere. Should we play the boss? I question the boss now. Kind of question the boss. Okay. Oh my. Versus two row. We got Jack. Which is unfortunate because we could have gotten Arvin. All things. Um, I think we should just get the other Greninja. You know? They may just get the B-Barrel and knock us out. I don't know what's gonna happen, right? Nobody knows what's gonna happen. Play the Mori. Oh, what do we discard though? We discard the Glally. I don't want to discard my Glally. Um, let's do the Boomerang and Ultra Ball. On. Oh no, we just wasted our charisma though. I really want to draw cards with Mew, so... Um, we may be able to knock out Debbie Barrel before they evolve it. Before they get the evolution, my bad. So we're searching for the darkness energy right here because they could well be doing a knockout or maybe just the boomerang, right? They bench a Menifee, the boomerang would be all for nothing, but who knows if they're going to do Ayano as well.
and no bibero by some magical miracle I think we need a retrieval or something we just end up running out of uh, energies I don't think we will but we still gotta be extra careful though Let's try and take out the Luminion. I'm gonna do Irida now, right? Shivery Chill. Hail Blade. And here comes the transfer. Just need a water and chorus. We already evolved that one, so. Oh, we. Oh no! We actually need the rare candy. Oopsie. We're taking out the Luminion though. Which is awesome. I don't think we need to. Wait, why doesn't. Why can't. Oh, we need the darkness energy! <laughs> I forgot about the darkness energy. Oops. Oopsie. That would have been perfect damage to take out the Luminia. If we had the energy attached, we can play damage counters to take out for... Well, we're not getting any extra prizes though, because... They don't have any more babies on the bench. They got a chin power, which we can't, we're not able to knock out, unfortunately. Another game with Crystal Barrage. Let's go first. Good ninja. Ninja boy. Froki, Froki Dogi. Oh, it's a Roaring Moon. Long time no see, Roaring Moon. Do we get Tatsu for this game? Do we have the Tool Cart? I think so. No, we don't have the Tool Cart. Oh no. We should be playing two of the Rescue Board. Um. Yeah, this is a bit of a... A bit unfortunate, I guess. Let's just... Bench 1. Could do the Mew later. Um, they got Sada. So I feel like just attaching to the bench. I don't know, really. I'm not too sure what to do here. Just pass the turn. They may attack with the baby moon. But since it's a bot match, I don't think they have the baby moon. <laughs> Probably not. Maybe one copy, I don't know. We got the Greninja, but no candy. Let's evolve this guy. And I'm gonna just play Ayano here. Because we have a second copy. We got Master Ball, Ultra. We should be fine. We got the second one. Look at that. Um, we don't have abilities. Pokemon with abilities in play. So I think we need the Mew though, unfortunately. Um, what do we do now? Do we play the Mew or do we play the Monkey Dory? I don't think we need anything else but the Dory. 
So I feel like we should just do the Dory. Right, might as well. Because we got the free search with Greninja. Let's just smash with Freezing Shroud, punish everyone, and transfer with Adrenabrain. Oh my gosh, that that ability sounds so cool. Adrenabrain. Adrenaline. Okay, so we can knock it out even with the booster attached, but it's a bit sad that they don't have the booster. Oh well. Let's attach to the monkey, because we want to be transferring those damage counters onto this Roaring Moon. We're going to play our switch. And maybe the candy and Master Ball. Oh, we could actually do candy. Wait, no, that's not a tool card. Oh, I got tricked. Oh, wait, we could actually play the Mew right now. Now is the time. We are hexing though, pretty heavy. Um, but, you know, it kind of makes sense to play the draw support. There we go. Now we're just gonna play Lake Acuity, Smash, search for the Boomerang, and we should be fine. We should be good to go. We could do a rare candy right here, but I feel like. Oh, I forgot Rasada! Oh no! They could actually do the knockout right here. If they play the knockout, we would be in trouble though. Oh, but we just. We just got a red candy from the prize. That was pretty lucky. Because we have the energy in our hand, we should really be focusing on doing the candy evolution. Sada, Dark Patch, I mean, they would definitely have done the OHKO. But then they are punishing themselves with 200, sorry, 20 damage counters though. So after that, we can slowly knock out the first Roaring Moon. And then, you know. We should still be fine, that's what I'm trying to say. Let's do Charisma, maybe, on the next turn. We're gonna transfer from the one with lower HP. Obviously the Dory right here. Transfer to this guy. Well, maybe the active as- oh wait, we can only transfer to one, my bad. Gotta transfer all three to the same one. Now we're going to do Shinobi Blade. Searching our deck for a Giovanni's Charisma, I guess. Because we've got two Boomerang already. We have a Marnie's Pride for security as well. Uh, Marnie's Pride works well with Blastoise, but we're not getting the Blastoise that early. So maybe we should be doing two Giovanni. Two Charisma sounds like a better deal, but... If we're doing two rescue board, I feel like Marnie makes a bit of sense. So, gotta play with variety. It's always better to do a variety of different combos rather than the same combo multiple times. So we got Master Ball. We could actually do the Snipe right now with our Blastoise. We're gonna draw cards with Mew first and then dig for that energy. Hopefully, getting a basic water. There we go. We're gonna chorus. We're gonna play the chorus for the next energy on the next turn. But for now, we're gonna snipe as much as we can. Um, I don't know which one to snipe though. That's the funny thing. So we're going to transfer from the one with at least three onto the active, I guess. Because now we get to target their bench. Oh no, I think we just wasted... We just wasted our snipe. We could have done the baby moon though. Oh no, we wasted our... Damn it. 
Why did I do that? I totally wasted my snipe. Because we could have killed this guy. So we have to target the active for the next turn. Okay, they actually don't have Sada. This is a bot match, but if they, if they had Sada, we would have the second Greninja. We should be fine. So let's see if we can get the next energy. We should be able to. There we go. We should really be playing Mew first. So that was a bit of a weird play. Kind of the wrong play on my part. Sorry about that. So we're taking out this um, baby moon right here. For one price. And now we're going to do the Dory on itself. Adrenabrain. Take out the active rune, active EX for two more. For the last prize, though. Oh, now we can't play the boss. We actually got a target. Oh no, we don't have the last prize. This is sad. If we targeted the right ones, we would have. Um, if we we didn't attach the energy as well. Oopsie. <laughs> If we hit the moon with our Pama shot on the last turn, we would have won the game. My bad. I'm playing really slow as well, so... I'm sorry! Ah, come on, you're a bot! Stop whining! <laughs> you can't whine, you're a bot though! You don't have any premise. Even though I am playing super slowly, but you're supposed to be hyper efficient, aren't ya? And we just won with our adrena adrenability, taking the last prize with the damage transfer. Oh yeah.